In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to monitor our ad. How to monitor our ad. Now you must, you know, if you are even if you use your laptop to set up your your ad, you're always going about throughout your during the day. You may be busy, you may not have time to be with your laptop or your your computer. So there is need for you to monitor your your ad how it is doing on your phone and to do that you must have this this app you can see this app here so it's very very important you have this app meta ad so you can go to your play store and then download it once you have it you click on it you open it and log in so when you log in, you log into that your to your you log into your ad account, business ad account. Once you log in, it will detect the ad account. So you can see it. I have two ad accounts. One is active. This there's no active campaign. This is my personal ad account. I don't use it to run ad. So So this is the personal ad account. I don't use it to run ad. So I will go back to my business ad account. So you can see the business ad account is one active campaign. So I will select it. So this is where I will see all my campaigns. You can see how it is doing. You are getting this on Facebook list, this lead generation for a course I want to launch. It's, it's not that doing good, even though I'm just leaving it. You know, Facebook, we advise you to leave your ad for like seven days. Some will tell you leave your ad for three days. If it's not converting, you kill it. You get. Now, this is the one we've just scheduled to run from July 24th. It's ongoing. You can see it website purchases so the result will be for website purchases if they've done one on the website it will reflect here and then it cost the amount you spent on ad to get one that one purchase will be here you can see the campaign name you can see that it's scheduled it's scheduled so it will start running immediately yes i forget to show us you can see we just set up this ad and it was not up to one hour it was approved so this is where you can know if your ad is approved yes if it's approved you can see this one you can see that by this i already know that it is approved it has been approved now most time if you add after setting it up after publishing you spent like 10 hours my dear and it's still under review or six hours fine they will tell you that okay to be reviewed within 24 hours this is bot that is artificial intelligence that does this so most time they don't work like humans they are faster but from my experience those ones that stayed longer at the end of the day tend to be rejected so they may be rejected but for those ones within two hours i get them approved and it's to start running you will not get this approved on your if you're using laptop you will not see this approved but you will get a notification that, that your ad is scheduled but under this you see ad approved you can see it so it means that it has been approved and then when you log in you can see it if you start running you see active if you see active and when you click on this ad then when you come to this ad set it will write active or learning if it's just starting it will be learning meaning that the pixel is seasoning it wants to learn the the kind of customers the kind of audience that are interested in your ad now the ad will be learning too until it gets like 50 conversions if it gets 50 leads, it will start optimizing, it will become active. But you see that sometimes three days, five days, you've not gotten that 
uh, it has not gotten active. He's still learning, and he may even be writing learning limited. So one, maybe you have limited audience. Then and at this point, you see that your 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 budget is going, your money is going, but it's not converting very well. So you may need to do a troubleshoot on your ad. So we we'll look at this troubleshoot on the paid class. So, but for now, this is how to view it. You can see how much you've spent and then do something about it. Some say that you don't wait, you wait for three days. If it's not converted, you kill the ad. Facebook says seven days. So, depending on your pocket, what you have, you can decide to. But most time, I don't even, once it's 24 hours, I'm not getting what I want. I'll just. <laughs> do something troubleshoot my ad and then move on so this is the one we've set and then you see that it's scheduled so this is how to monitor your ad from this you can also set up your ad you can see like i was telling us you say your ads have been turned off because you have reached the spending limit you set for your ad account you can set spending limit for your ad account this is what I'm talking on. You can send spending limit for your ad account if it is post paid, meaning that Facebook will run your ad before you pay. For this, you need to add your card. You know that I didn't add card, so I only add money which is prepaid. When I saw this, I was so worried. But if I check my ad is active, it's running. So, in case you encounter this, know that all is well do not panic and this is where you can add money you can add money so you can see it add fund and you follow the process i showed us in the last video so this is it this is how to do it you can also set up your ad here you can click on this create and you can see the the objective marketing objective post engagement video views website traffic so you can send people to your website so it will select an image so you can change image so it's taking my profile picture you can change your image here whichever so let me choose Let's say this is the image I want to use. I'll select this and then click on next. You see this arrow? So you can see this arrow here. When you click on it. When you click on the arrow, it will take you to this stories placement. Add creative. You have stories. You have other placement. So you can remove. So let's say you want to do traffic, website traffic. I post engagement, website conversion. Okay, this website conversion people want to add, or maybe your product or services. We select the image. So you can click here to change our image. And then maybe it's a service that you are promoting. We we'll select our image and click on this. You can see this forward arrow. Click on it. You see you haven't selected a domain that prioritizes your event for iOS. So I've already done this. I've done this on my on my domain. Then you have stories placement. Your image is too small for art. Please choose a larger image. So this you can choose select another image. I think because of the placement. So let's go with this that it's accepted because of it's on Facebook. So let's use this. So this can guide you on the type of image you use, add creative, then other placement, image, headline, primary test. 
Instagram is already selected. We will do shop now or book now. So you see that this is not really okay for me. You get shop now. You get because the one we did is for offer. So I prefer running my ad from my Facebook account. You can see that it's already in on ad preview. You can see. See, this is I don't use this, I don't use this, so I use my Facebook. So you can select audience, so you can edit audience, you can select audience, liked page, updated audience. So these are audience that you can select, you can see them. Can see different audience. You can see the audiences that you can select. These are the audience I've named. So you can select. You can go and create an audience, and then come here and then select your audience. And then once you've selected your audience, you can move. Click here to go. You can see what is giving me campaign budget 995 run ad continuously start now so this is not really you already see you spend sisters 965 per week so and then you you publish so you are going to review order Story for uh, ad placement. So you can click on order. Like I said, I don't use this. And I won't even... If it works for you, fine. But for me, this is not for me. I like running it from my website. This is how to run ads. So let's see order. You see that when you come to this place, you see that there is no list generation ad. You see website traffic, video views. So uh, for me, after seeing this, I don't, it's not really that broad. It's not detailed for me. And that's why I don't use it to run ad. So as your ad is progressing, you come and then monitor it here. Now, if it's not doing well, all you have to do is click on these three dots and then turn it off. You can turn it off, you can delete, you can edit. This is what you can do here. You can monitor your, your results, how much you are spending. You can see campaign. So make sure that it's, it's as maximum. You see, from 20th, 23rd June to 23rd July. So if you see that it will give me a result between this date range. If you do not select this, you may select a time. Let's say I select this ad. Let's say I, I choose. You see where, where you can do that is this place. This place, when you click on this, it will bring it up for you to select. So let's do that. Then you see it's at maximum. So when we click the maximum, you see that it is 23rd June 2020. Wow. To 23rd July 2023. So it's, it's, it's so much. It's enough. So it has to be at maximum. This is the maximum. When you click on this maximum too, we click on this maximum, it will bring it up. So if you want it for just today, it will give you results for today. You see that today I've just because my money got finished and I didn't I did not add money. And when I added money, since there is only one lead that has signed in. So this is how you do it. When you click on it too, you go and select. If you select for yesterday, 
let's see how many lead adds 24 lead for 162 then we we'll click on this we can do last seven days let's see last seven days i want 37 lead 169 so this is how you do it you monitor your ad so i will take it to maximum so it will give me every full details and then that's how you monitor your ad this is how to do it get your meta ad today get this get this from play store and start monitoring your ad we have come to the end why i do not dwell more on how to use this ad to create your ad is because i don't use it and from what you can see there's no much option for me when i want to run ad and you can see when we are going through it you see what we encountered once again if you've not subscribed kindly subscribe click like like my videos gives it a thumbs up so that youtube can show it to more people if you are new if you've not watched other videos kindly check my channels to watch my channel to watch other videos it was an extensive course and we, we covered all the campaign except app installs now when you have the, this basic knowledge and if you want to run an ad for an app install you can do well with this knowledge we have come to the end if you've not subscribed you are visiting kindly subscribe like comment share so that youtube can show it to more people so thank you and this is the one i was showing us whatsapp uh, chat to whatsapp send the link traffic so this is what i got 13,211 link links at 63.35. So this is how you view your ad. I've turned it off because I'm not ready to chat. I need to chat on WhatsApp. So this was sent to my WhatsApp and it was an offer for my CAC business name and an NGO. CAC business name company, NGO association, club registration offer. This is how we have come so far. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, kindly drop it on the comment section. And on the group, I'm going to add, add comments where you can ask your question and I will know about it. Thank you for watching.